Monday, February 22nd, ASPLU held a town hall forum for the PLU community to discuss issues of accessibility on campus. First year Senator Hayden Brunel ran the meeting with over 30 students and faculty in attendance. Yeah, so the town hall was designed for uh, students and staff to come to talk about accessibility on campus. Um, I knew ever since October that it's been a big issue on campus and only as a first year I wanted to get this addressed so that way by the time I'm a sophomore, junior, senior I can start seeing results. Those in attendance shared problems and proposed solutions to issues of accessibility on campus. There's just a lot of random physical things on campus. So just yeah. Like, that's not very accessible. Like the whole like puzzle of getting from upper campus to lower campus. If you need elevators or like if you can't like get down Henderley Hill, just seems kind of crazy. Really. A lot of doors aren't handicap opening either. Uh, for example, that basement door in Harstad. I mean, it's a kind of a grungy entrance area, but I think the bigger issue there is there's not even a button you can push it to get someone to open the door for you. The town hall, I think, went great. Um, there were a lot of students that came, more than I had anticipated. Uh, and Nathan and Hayden worked really hard together uh, to make sure that this all uh, happened. And I think, coolest of all, Paula Burns, uh, director of DSS, got to come. Uh, and that's great to have buy-in from that actual office. RHA and ASPLU will be starting an accessibility committee to address these concerns. The town hall meeting was a time to engage in dialogue and openly talk about accessibility on campus. So PLU does a really great yeah. job focusing on diversity, yeah. but um, disability status is this identity that we have seemed to kind of neglect a lot um, in social justice trainings. Um, I've gone through numerous trainings in residential life and student leadership institute, stuff like that, um, on social justice, and they never even speak about disability status. Um, and disability status is actually like the number one, like statistically largest minority in the United States. So it is something that affects a lot of people and that needs to be talked about. So I think, in like, just uh, having a lot more conversations about it and a lot more um, educational um, trainings about um, things like person-first language, how to address um, different uh, ability statuses the right way, <laughs> um, and just talking about it in general I think is really important. I think it was good, but I think these are things that people are just already aware of, so it's like, at least for me, it's just a matter of like, when is, when are these actions going to act, and solutions actually going to happen? Are we going to wait like another 10 years or whatever for this, just simply the sidewalks to not be trippable or I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, it's, it's just a matter of we're just, I think honestly we're moving really slow and I don't really know what to say about that either, but what, what is supposed to happen now? We just have this meeting and then so.